Two out of three Americans wake up every morning and use mouthwash. That leads to an increase in blood pressure, erectile dysfunction. If you're using mouthwash, you don't get the benefits of diet and you don't get the benefits of exercise. Why would you use an antiseptic in your mouth every day to destroy the microbiome? These bacteria are there to do things that we as humans can't do. Do me a favor, stop using mouthwash, get rid of fluoride. Come back 30 days later and then. So who are you? What are you doing here today? I'm uh, Dr. Nathan Bryan. I'm a uh, basic scientist, former professor of medicine, and we make nitric oxide products. So what we focused on is nitric oxide, which is a molecule. It's a gas that's naturally produced in the body. The older we get, the less we make, and that's what's responsible for age-related disease. And how are we fucking ourselves up by not producing it, or what's... what's well, it's yeah. everything we do in the Western world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the food we eat, it's our lifestyle, it's drug therapy. Uh, things like mouthwash completely kills the oral microbiome, shuts down nitric oxide production. That leads yeah. to an increase in blood pressure, yeah, erectile dysfunction, and early onset of Alzheimer's. You know, the bacteria that live in and on our body outnumber our human cells 10 to 1. So these bacteria are there to do things that we as humans can't do. One of their roles is to produce nitric oxide. So when we completely destroy the microbiome, you know, like for instance, you don't take an antibiotic every day for the rest of your life, right? Because yeah. the known catastrophic damage is done on systemic health. So why would you use an antiseptic in your mouth every day to destroy the microbiome. So two out of three Americans wake up every morning and use mouthwash. It's alcohol-based mouthwash, it's chlorhexidine, it's chemical-based, it's the scope, the Listerines, anything that's labeled as antiseptic. So what we found is so two out of three Americans use mouthwash and there's two out of three Americans that have an unsafe elevation in blood pressure. And it's not coincidental. We published in 2019 that this is causal. So we took normal healthy individuals, we gave them mouthwash for seven days and then stopped the mouthwash Four days later, we brought them back. Seven days after starting mouthwashes, in some cases, we saw a 26 millimeter increase in blood pressure. And it's shutting down nitric oxide production. It's causing an increase in blood pressure. You lose the protective benefits of exercise. Whoa. So the only thing we did was kill the microbiome. So think about this. We're taught to eat a good diet, get moderate physical exercise. But yet if you're using mouthwash, you don't get the benefits of diet and you don't get the benefits of exercise. That's insane. Yeah. No, I mean, it's life changing. Wow. And, and, and what we've discovered is what's called resistant hyper Hypertension. Resistant hypertension is if you have high blood pressure, you go to your doctor and he puts you on a blood pressure medicine. But we've known for the past 100 years, 50% of the people that are given drugs to lower their blood pressure don't respond with better blood pressure. So what we're finding is that hypertension is a symptom of oral dysbiosis. So now if you ask your patients, do you use mouthwash? Is there fluoride in your toothpaste? Because fluoride is an antiseptic and it's a neurotoxin and it shuts down your thyroid and it's function. in our water. And it's in the water. So now for the first time in the history of medicine, you can start to understand why medicines don't work and then get people off of these medicines. So what we do, what we do is like, okay, if you have high blood pressure and you're, all, and you're medicated and the blood pressure is not, and the medications aren't normalizing your blood pressure, well then I say, are you using mouthwash? Two out of three people say yes. You have fluoride in your toothpaste? 10 out of 10 people say yes. It's like, okay, do me a favor. Stop using mouthwash, get rid of fluoride. Come back 30 days later and their blood pressure is better. Wow, wow. that is wild.